it's Casey. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, Casey Mindful, where I talk about all things mindfulness. Today's video is just a quick DIY video for how to make your own nootropic coffee using lion's mane mushrooms specifically. And I'm going to be using Creo Brew Cryo brew. I'm not 100% sure how that's pronounced. However, you can use whichever coffee bean you personally like. The reason I wanted to share this, um, most importantly, is because buying this stuff pre-made is really expensive at Whole Foods, and it shouldn't be. Um, the cost up front is a little bit expensive, but you get like 50 servings compared to four if you were to buy um, the pre-made product. And if you didn't know already, a nootropic is simply a substance that enhances cognition and memory and facilitates learning, per Merriam-Webster. <laughs> But lion's mane mushroom has been used for centuries and we're only just now discovering all the amazing benefits that it has um, for human consumption. There are numerous, numerous peer-reviewed studies um, published on lion's mane benefits, but um, cognitively speaking, the two biggest benefits are that one, it increases nerve growth factor which has to do with neurogenesis, um, essentially memory and mental clarity. And then secondly, it effectively reduces anxiety and depression. Huge. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay guys, so I'll include links in the description below for everything you'll need. But to start, you'll need a lion's mane supplement, of course, preferably in powder form. And then another thing to check for is to just make sure that it has an, the actual fruit body culture in the ingredients and that it's not just mycelium on oats or rice. And secondly, you'll want to choose a coffee bean, and in this case I'm using Creo Brew, which is a ground cocoa bean rather than a coffee bean. It tastes really similar, but it has less caffeine for those who are trying to control their addiction, like me. Um, it has an ingredient called the theobromine, it's naturally occurring in the cocoa, that is similar to caffeine, but it lasts longer and it's much more mild as far as how it feels. And then finally, you just need a way to roast your coffee beans, and I prefer my French press. Alright, so there are directions on the Creo Brew packaging for whether you're using the coffee maker or the French press. For the French, French press, it says, pour 8 ounces of boiling water for each 2 tablespoons of the grounds. I pretty much just eyeball it though. I know what I like, you know what you like. You're not going to mess it up. Then you add your boiling water and you'll give it a good stir. And then let it brew for about six minutes. Then, per the packaging, you come back and stir it again after the six minutes. And we'll let it sit for another couple of minutes. Alright, my friends, you are finally ready to press your brew. Pick out a super cute coffee mug. And dose your lion's mane supplement. I just eyeball it once again, but this particular brand recommends one teaspoon. And then just add whatever cream or sugar you usually like in your coffee and you are good to go. And there you have it. That's how I've been making my own nootropic mushroom coffee in the mornings. 
But the great thing about this is it's really versatile and it's good for anyone who's wanting to be and perform at their very best. So if this video was helpful to you and saved you some money, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can tune into more videos like this. Thanks guys.